Welcome to the video lecture series in history class 12th. Today we will discuss about third chapter which deals with kinship, caste and class in early societies between 600 BCE to 600 CE. In this chapter we will deal with four subtopics, those are Mahabharata a historical resource, kinship and marriage, social differences and resources and status. Today we will discuss about resources and status. Resources and status tells us about number one difference between status of men and women due to excess over resources. It also tells us about relationship between varna and right over resources, development of critic traditions of the varna order and about an alternative social scenario. The social position of slaves, craftsmen, kings, merchants, especially between men and women etc. were often shaped by their access to economic resources. Economic resources means land, cattle and money. Difference between status of men and women due to excess over resources. According to Mahabharata during the long drawn rivalry between the Kauravas and the Pandavas. Yudhishthar, the eldest Pandava was invited by the Kaurav Duryodhan for a game of dice in which Yudhishthar lost everything, his gold, elephants, slaves, army, kingdom, his brothers and even himself. Finally, he staked their common wife Draupdi in the game of dice and lost her too. This shows that probably wife was considered as private property of the husband. Probably, probably because there is instance of Draupdi questioning Yudhishthar whether he had lost himself before staking her. Among the two opinions expressed in response to this question of Draupdi, one opinion says that even if Yudhishthar had lost himself earlier, his wife remained under his control, so he could stake her. So maybe, maybe wife was considered as private property of the husband. According to the Manu Smriti, women had no claim over the paternal property and often after the death of the parents, the paternal property was to be divided amongst the sons. Women can retain only the gifts that they received during the marriage, gifts from their parents and brothers and gifts from affectionate husband known as Istridhan. Stridhan literally means a woman's wealth. Husband had no claim on Stridhan. Manu Smriti warns women against holding of even their own valuables without the husband's permission. This shows that women can have no secret resources and hence no power. Prabhavati Gupta, the Vakataka queen who belonged to the ruling class is an exception to this. But majority of the evidences suggest that while upper class women may have had access to resources, but land, cattle and money 
were generally controlled by men. So, difference between social status of men and women were sharpened largely because of the differences in access to resources. What was the relationship between Varna and right over resources? According to the Dharam Shastras and Dharam Sutras, apart from gender, another criteria for right over resources was Varna. And according to Varna system, occupations were prescribed for Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. In this system, a variety of occupations were listed for Brahmanas, Kshatriyas and Vaishyas. But the only occupation prescribed for Shudras was to serve the upper three Varnas. To some extent, the provisions of Varna system were followed, since kings and generally priests are shown to be rich in textual traditions. But there are examples of poor Brahmana like Sudama, which are found in these textual traditions. Development of critic traditions of the Varna order. Around 6th century BCE onwards, other traditions developed who criticized the Brahmanical view of Varna order. The best known among these were within early Buddhism who did not recognize these social differences as natural and inflexible. They rejected the claim to status on the basis of birth. There is a story in Buddhist text Majjhima Nikai, which reveals Buddhist views towards Varna system, which says that if a Shudra had access to resources, he could have at his service a Vaishya, a Kshatriya or even a Brahmana, an alternative social scenario. Around 2000 years ago, in ancient Tamilkam, there were several chiefdoms. This was the area where in contrast to the system in which a status was directly related to the access to resources, here the men who were generous, they were respected and those who accumulated wealth for only themselves were looked down upon. The Tamil Sangam literature tells us that though there were differences between rich and poor, still rich were expected to share their resources with poor. In Tamil Sangam literature, around 1st century CE, a bard praises his patron for his generosity. So, in this third chapter of history textbook class 12th, which deals with kinship, caste and class in early societies between 600 BCE to 600 CE, we dealt with four subtopics. First was Mahabharata, a historical resource. In this, we discussed about how Mahabharata is a very important historical resource about its dynamism and about the most ambitious project of compiling it by V. S. Suthankar. The next subtopic which we dealt in this chapter was about kinship and marriage. In kinship and marriage, we discussed about the kinds of marriages, rules and regulations of Gotra system and how this society was divided based on the occupation. The third subtopic was about 
social differences in ancient India, in which we discussed about meaning of social differences, classification based on jatis and shrenis or guilds, between varna system and jatis, and about integration versus subordination through the examples of Malechas and Chandalas, about Chandalas, whether they accepted the rules prescribed in the Shastras or there was any kind of rebellion in them. We also discussed about integration within the framework of caste, which was often a complicated process and about the difference between the Buddhist theory of social contract and Brahmanical view of society derived from the Purush Sukha. This we discussed in the social differences. And the last subtopic is about resources and status. And in resources and status, we just discussed about the difference between men and women due to excess over resources and relationship between varna and right over resources and uh, development of various critic traditions which were against the varna order and about the alternative social scenario as described in the Tamil Sangam literature. So, this was all about the third chapter of history textbook class 12th.